What's up, Shwing Dynasty? Welcome back, week seven. Week seven of our league uh, coming coming to you from here at KUA, as usual. Um, yeah, it's uh, we're approaching Halloween time. Okay, so we're getting to the spooky season. Um, we are going to be getting your Halloween horror franchise, uh, movie franchises. Not all of them are typically Halloween necessarily movies, um, but yeah, horror franchises with a focus, more points if they're Halloween. Um, ish you know appropriate for the season um so that's what we'll be doing today along with recapping and looking at this week's uh this week's matchup so let's get started with the recap from last week um i took down oregon beer force uh, mark 194 to 100 that was the large marge of the week um mark didn't put up much of a fight for me in that one my mvp was chris godwin chris god mode with 35 and a half points um definitely uh, appreciated that from him. Mark left Joe Mixon on his bench, who got 30 points. Um, Trey Tucker got zero in his flex, so it could have been a 30-point bump. Obviously not a big difference in a 94-point spread, but um, still enough to be Mark's dumb set of the week. Um, I got my walkie-talkie going off here. Hold on. Let's turn that down on my break here. Um, next, we got a Mingo Ate My Baby. Uh, took down the Paler Broncos, 187 to 163. So Burt getting Steve there. Uh, Burt got a huge boom of 30.65 points from Josh Allen. Uh, while Steve literally uh, could have maybe eked out an extra nine points. Not maybe, he could have eked out a nine points. There wasn't a lot of dumb set choices here for, for Steve. Um, but he could have gotten nine more points by playing Isaac Garendo um, over his flex play of uh, Pat Fryermuth. So that could have got him nine extra points. Um, the Meat Packers accidentally got a second win. Okay, so Daryl actually got a second win over the, the Fighting Lucases, uh, 149 to 137. Daryl can thank his 19 point kicker uh, performance by Jack Bates. Jake Bates, that would be Jake Bates, not Jack Bates. Um, Jake Bates of the Lions, apparently. Um, who got him, yeah, 19 points. Lucas could have moved David Montgomery to running back slot and then put in Amari DiMarcato instead of um, Travis Etienne, and that would have got him an extra 14 points, and he would have won this. Gross. Um, yeah, that's a gross, dumb sit, but it would have won the game, so DiMarcato for the win. Um, yeah, uh, Portland Ducks got a... Uh, Got a win over D's Nuts, uh, who keeps trying to get wins somehow. somehow. Uh, JD keeps trying to get wins. It was 201-180. to 180. They both outscored their projections by about 25 points. Um, JD was coming for the win here. Almost got his first win. Could have. We'll see that in the dumb sit. Um, Sean was thrilled to get 35 points from Jordan Love. It mattered. It made a big difference in this one, obviously. Um, JD could have won this game if he had played Tyler Algier at the flex instead of Alec Pierce. Um, that would have been a 24.3 point difference because Alec Pierce got zero, zero points. JD would have won this game. So that's his dumb sit. Um, in the game of the week, I'm here for the trophy, beat Bed Bath and Bijan, 203 to 186. Despite zero points from James Cook in his starting running back position, he was ruled out for Monday Night Football. Um, but he got 37 points from Baker Mayfield, who's been incredible. Um, Adam could have come pretty close to winning this. I think he would have won it if he had moved Jamison Williams to his wide receiver spot and taken out Brandon Ayuk and then played Cole Komet in the flex. <laughs> that that would have uh, been better than what he did. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure he would have won if he had done that, if he had played Cole Komet over uh, Brandon Ayuk in the flex. Um, but he didn't. So uh, uh, Phil gets his fourth straight win. Um, and Adam goes to four and two. Uh, they're both four and two now. So, yeah. Uh, overall, the MVP was Baker Mayfield for Phil. Um, the dumb shit sit is definitely Tyler Algier by JD. Um, those are, yeah, so that's that's what they are. I'm going to say those are interesting, but they're not. That's just what it is. That's what I've already told you about. Okay. So on to this week and your Halloween horror movie franchises. I know I've been doing these at work, and the production just doesn't feel very good. i got to start finding a time carving out of time to do these things at home when I can get some of the uh, the things going, the decorations and stuff like that. I'll try to do a couple more of those at home for you guys. Um, this is, my lunch break is the only time I have quiet in my life right now, so that's what I try to do this for you guys. So I take one of my only quiet break times, and I, I 
come to you guys. So just remember that. All right. Um, so I'll give you those, the, the matchups, and then we'll talk your Halloween horror franchise comps, whatever you want to call it. All right. First game. Amingo ate my baby versus the Meat Packers. Okay, this is a projection 186 to 153 favoring Burt. Burt's sitting up three and three. Daryl's surprising even himself at two and four. Um, Burt should win this, but when you have Jaden McDan McDaniels, Jesus, um, Jaden Daniels, <laughs> not McDaniels, uh, when you have Jaden Daniels balling out, Kareem Hunt looking like the 2017 version of himself, maybe. Not, maybe not that good, but when Cream Hunt looks like, um, you know, he's he's playing well right now for for the Chiefs, um, and Tucker Craft could be a touchdown um, turnout. You know, when that can happen, there could be an upset here, but no, it's it's not going to happen. Bird's going to win this one easily. I feel that this week. I think Daryl will come back to Earth a little bit, and uh, well, we'll see what Bird is. Bird is the same thing almost every single week. Um, so Daryl. Your horror movie comp. So the first one of these. Um, Daryl, you are the Blair Witch Project. Okay. Kind of low budget right now, you know, with your team. Yeah, Jim Daniels, he's on a rookie contract. Okay. Don't have a lot of other great players. Cream Hunt scoring for you. Um, Tucker Craft. Is, these are not people being paid. This is a low budget um, production going on right now. Nobody expected it to do anything in the box office. It was kind of a surprise. Your two and four records, a bit of a surprise. Um, it had its moment in the sun though. It was, it was very popular for, um, for a month there or so. Um, but I think we'll all look back and still say it wasn't very good actually when we, when we look back at it just overall. And I think, you know, that's, that's part of your plan. I think you've actually surprised yourself with some wins here. Um, be surprised. That's what the Blair Witch Project did. It surprised people. Caught them off guard. Um, came out hot, just like Jaden Daniels, Mick Daniels. Um, but yeah, overall, probably not as good as the reception has been was at the beginning. So, uh, Bert. Okay, Bert's uh, movie. So, Bert, here are your scores this year. Uh, 175. We had a spike week of 216. But let's focus on that 175. 178. 180. 190. 187. Okay. Five of your games, five of the six, are between 175 and 190. So within a 15-point swing. You are definitely above the league average. You're above the average team. That league average is 1044. Um, you are at like 11-something. So you're above the league average in scoring. Um, that is brought down heavily by uh, by a few players here. Um, Lucas, Daryl, and JD, I believe. Um so you're, simple, you're an above average franchise right now. You're three and three, but you're an above average franchise with an interesting lead character, um, which is uh, Josh Allen. Okay. Um, so just above average, nothing spectacular, probably not an iconic Halloween series. I'm giving you Jaws. It's a horror movie, right? I think it was on my list that I was looking up. I referenced lists for these things of like top horror franchises. And your Jaws, okay, it's an intro, Jaws is huge for a shark, it is, it's just giant for a shark, and so is Josh Allen, he's giant for a quarterback, um, he'll, he'll hunt you down, and he'll destroy you, he'll come after you, um, and, uh, they're good movies, they're pretty good, you know, they're, they're not, I don't, after one, that's probably the, the main one, but, uh, they're Jaws, they're the Jaws movies, that's what you are, bud, okay, Jaws is huge, Josh Allen's huge. Um, all right, I'm here for the trophy versus Oregon Beer Force. Uh, current projections, 175 to 164, favoring Phil. Phil can't be happy that he gets Mark on a week the Seahawks play Atlanta. Probably better to get them when they, like I did, uh, when they played San Francisco. Um, but he still gets to play Mark. Okay, so that, that's good. You have that going for you. Um, you are, uh, Phil is outscoring Mark by 37 points on average on a week. Um, Phil should win this, but Mark does get Joe Mixon back into his lineup. He should have played him last week, um, but he gets him back into the lineup now. Should, could keep things interesting, especially with if the Seahawks have a big week, because that's what it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to whether the Seahawks have a good week. Um, and Baker Mayfield could just outright win this for Phil, make it impossible for the Seahawks to keep up. Uh, but he is playing Baltimore at home, um, so he's got a tougher defense he's going up against. It could be interesting, but I think I, I, I'm going to go with Phil getting the win here either way his average is just significantly higher than than marks at this point all right phil movies you're number three overall spot right now in the league um you have outscored number two sean 
Um, but you did have two losses to open the season, okay, uh, before you started rolling off four, four wins in a row now. Um, things are getting better as they go along, and that's why I'm giving you the um, Romero's uh, zombie movies, the, the Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, um, Land of the Dead. Yeah, they, they, Night of the Living Dead, the original, it's, it was big at the time, but um, I think we can all agree that's not as just entertaining of a movie, I guess, as the later ones when technology was better, um, movie making, uh, movie production was better. Um, and, you know, it's a zombie movie. Those are solid. I, I love zombie movies and they're great for Halloween. It's a great Halloween uh, series. Um, so yeah, that's what you got. You got Night of the Living Dead. Um, be careful though, because the last one, Survival of the Dead, was terrible. It was 2010, yeah, 2010. Um, not a good movie, and you, so don't rest on your laurels, okay? It's not just getting better. You're gonna have to keep it up. All right, um, man, I didn't even give Mark, <laughs> I didn't even give Mark a movie on here. Okay, so you're gonna have to see me improv this one, which means I'm gonna have to think about uh, what movie Mark is. So let's think about Mark's team, okay? All Seahawks. Oh, I got it. Okay. That's that made it easy just to say that. I'm I'm serious. This is not on here. Um Mark, your hall your horror movie that you are is The Birds. Okay? So you're The Birds. Um Birds, I hate birds. I don't like birds in general. Um if that was the horror movie and birds were attacking, I would be so much more scared. Um, than, than like zombies and things like that. I don't like birds. Um, but, you know, that movie is, it's not, uh, it's a Hitchcock, right? It's a scary movie. It's a well-made movie, but it's birds. It's just birds. And that's what your team is. It's all birds. It's all Seahawks. So congrats, buddy. You're the birds. Um, it, yeah. If the birds all work together, if the hawks all come together, then you can win. You can hurt people. But yeah, you're the birds. All right. I came up with that one on the fly. So that's how that works sometimes. Um, all right. ETN Everything Hurts versus the Portland Ducks. Lucas versus Sean. The projection is 165 to 160 favoring Sean. So a close projection. I consider this for the game of the week um, uh, due to the close score. But number one, I don't think it's going to end that close. And number two, a five and one versus two and four matchup doesn't excite the senses. Um, so didn't put it as the game of the week. Um, Sean, like me, has a lot of players questionable or injured. Um, I expect some to play this week and his score to increase. I don't think Lucas has enough firepower to keep up with Sean unless Tyler Huntley in his super flex goes off for like three rushing touchdowns. That, I think that's the only way. Um, three touchdowns in general. Our, our throwing touchdowns are um, worth just as much, but the yards running make a difference. So he'd need Tyler Huntley to go off to have a chance here, I feel like. Um, I, I actually feel like the, the real score is going to be closer to 200 to like 150, one, somewhere in that range, possibly the large margin of the week here. Um, all right, movies. Lucas, uh, you were first place last year, okay? You were the toilet bowl loser the year before. Um, you were 10th place, so last place in the regular season. In So let's do this. First place, 2023. Yeah, well, yeah, the season ended in 24, but first place in 2023, maybe it was 20, no, fuck. first place in 23, uh, toilet bowl loser in 22, 10th place in the regular, in the regular season in 2021, um, third place in the regular season in, uh, sorry, 10th place in the regular season also in 2020, and third place in the regular season in our inaugural season of 2019, five years, one great one okay, three stinkers, three three absolute stinkers. Um, you're the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, okay? There there is one that was great, and the rest, I mean, are non notable. Um, they're they're forgettable at best. Um, I thought about giving this one to Sean uh, just because uh, Trevor Lawrence kind of looks like Le Leatherface, um, but I thought that that was. A little mean and not really the point. Okay, I'm not just comparing how some of your players look to uh, to a horror person. Adam didn't get Chucky, so you know that's Brock Purdy, um, right there. Well, looks like a little. Never mind. It's fine. Um, yeah. So uh, Lucas is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
one great installment, uh, maybe another one that's okay, and then a bunch of, like, did, did they make them? They really did. They're, no one watches those. So, um, yeah, that's it. You have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but one of them killed it, right? Uh, killed it. Okay, Sean, your team has been beat up. Yep, they've been chopped into pieces. They've been blown up. They've been shot at, everything in between. Um, but they keep coming. You just keep limping along, creeping towards your targets. Um, just meandering towards victims. Um, somehow that keeps happening. You're still number two with all the injuries you've dealt with. Um, that's why you get Friday the 13th. There's no stopping him. You blow him up, burn him, drown him, whatever, stab him, shoot him, and he just keeps coming back. Um, I feel like you had this one last year, maybe, but I can't remember. I don't really remember. Maybe that is what you had last year. I don't, I, when I was writing it, it felt like maybe I gave you the same reasoning last year. And if I did, that's incredible that you've had this, this kind of, injury luck maybe maybe you did something with your championship season that you regret you sold something to like the devil or something i don't know um but you uh you cursed yourself somehow but the injuries keep coming five and one though second place so not bad um all right d's nuts versus the paler broncos the current projection is 183 to 146 favoring steve that's a almost a 40 point projection when uh last week jd would have actually beaten steve um jd's gonna start feeling like billy madison uh with the o'doyles uh pretty soon messing with him because he's got the brother-in-law's back-to-back week so he's um he's sick of his family i think your whole family's going down o'doyle um this week he gets steve this week he gets the second part of the the brother-in-law matchup against steve if they had played last week like i said jd would have won lamar and joe burrow have been great for him just awesome steve's playing bo Nix on thursday night football against new orleans a pretty decent defense um i hope for bo's sake that this goes differently than what i'm projecting but i don't think it's gonna be great um i know bo has been scoring recently we'll see thursday night prime time is different that's a different feel um I think JD's going to get his first win here. I think he's going to get an upset here. This is my upset special of the week. Um, so, we'll maybe not. We'll see. But that's what I got. I, I just feel like Joe Burrow and and, and uh, Lamar have been super good. And Stroud has been okay. And that's what Steve is rolling out. So, um, all right. Movies. Right now, JD, uh, you're in last place by two games. Okay. The only team in our league that doesn't have two wins so you have to have the worst horror movie and um there's a new one to represent that in the past this has always been either leprechaun in the hood or leprechaun in space okay um just terrible terrible movies um funny i still like them i still I, i'll still watch a leprechaun movie but they are it is pretty bad uh, it's a pretty bad horror franchise overall um but someone decided to make winnie the pooh blood and honey uh, which is real. This is a real movie. Uh, the fun playtime has ended in the Hundred Acre Woods, and now Christopher Robin is hunted by his old friends. This is this is real, and it's JD's team. So you get Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. That's your horror movie. Um, it can't be worse than that. I just don't know what what could. So um, yeah, get better. Win this week. Don't and stop being them. Um, and Steve. Your team is kind of old. Um, there's lots of old players on it. It's an roster, old roster with old players, and they're still doing fine. They're still getting it done somehow. Um, there's been some stinkers, but this has been an iconic horror movie franchise. Um, you're still an owner of a highly sought after swing championship, um, and you're still on the Mount Rushmore for now. So even though it's old, you're still on Mount Rushmore, and you are Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, they haven't. They th those movies haven't been good for a long time. Um, your team is better than the most recent editions of those movies, but their heyday is, is well in the past. I've used this trope for you the whole, the whole season, nothing new. Um, this one though, it does show that you're still on the Mount Rushmore of, of swing football right now. So you're nightmare on Elm Street, bud. All right. Onto the game of the week. There's only two teams left. Me and Adam, Purdy Balls versus Bed Bath and Bijan, um, six and oh versus four and two, uh, number one in the butt guys division versus number two in the boob guys division. Um, the butt guys have outscored the boob guys by about 400 points so far as a, as a division. So good job. Good job, buddies, but butters, um, current projection right now it's 172 to 153 favoring me, but Adam has two open roster spots. Um, this is a bad week for me to have Mike Tomlin decide to to start Russell Wilson and bench Justin Fields. This is not the week for that 
to happen for me with Dak on by. Um, Derek Carr hurt. Flacco is probably not going to get the start because Anthony Richardson's probably coming back. Um, so therefore, a tight end is in my super flex spot. I know I've picked against myself all year, all year. Adam's missing CeeDee Lamb, so there's something there, okay? But I picked, I always pick against myself, but this one I really, um, really don't feel good about. Um, I feel like my first loss is coming in this week. Um, I don't like the look of this one at all. Adam gets the win here. Um, yeah, that's, this one's tough. That's gonna be, a, this is gonna be a tough week for me to, to keep undefeated. I think this is where I fall. Um, all right, movies, me. Okay, well, I'm still here. I'm still number for number one, number first, number first. That's what I am. Uh, still undefeated as of now. Maybe not after this weekend. Um, still have the most points. Okay, I've I've, uh, I've put out good performances each week. I don't think my top score is under 190. Um, as with every year, it's a Halloween episode. It's a Halloween time of year. I get the number one Halloween horror franchise, which is Halloween, okay? Michael Myers is a badass, he's the best. The movies are great, they're perfectly Halloween. Um, they're perfectly fall, even just the way it's shot. Uh, they're just perfect, and my, right now my team is six and zero. Oh, it's still perfect. Um, again, I don't feel like I'll be able to say that next week, but that's where we are today, okay? Adam, your team is sixth in scoring still, but oh, it's actually an improvement. Um, but I would still say you're an effective low-budget uh, horror movie. You're a low-budget franchise right now. Um, not as much as Blair Witch. Okay, so not like that. Uh, a little more notoriety. A few more well, a few more people that are well-known. Um, it's got a bit of a cult classic feel. All right, when you win, it's sort of like, hell yeah, okay. Well, now we're rolling. Um, and it seems to be getting better with each installment. That's one key to this one. And that's why I'm giving you the Evil Dead franchise. Okay, number one was they did what they could. But it's, it's I would not call it a good movie. I love it, but it's not something I would call a good movie. Uh, Evil Dead 2 was much better. And I love Army of Darkness. Uh, people mock, make fun of that one more. And I don't get it. I like it. Um, and then the recent remake was fine. So, uh, it's, yeah, people give this lower ratings maybe, um, than I would give Army of Darkness, but it is a low budget. It's plugging along and they do great with what they have. And that's kind of what your team is doing right now. So maybe you don't have the most points, but you keep getting wins. You keep doing that. So that's it. You're evil dead. That's your franchise. Great franchise. All right. That's it. 22 minutes. Wow. That was a longer one. I feel like than recently, but I had more to say to you guys this week need to reach out to you guys. That's what I need. I need, need swing in my life. All right. Okay, guys, that's it. Peace out. Have a good week. Uh, except Adam. I hope you lose, but I hope you lose. That's all there is to it.